Hello everyone, Chrissy Schultz here with Magic School. I have a video here for you today that is especially targeted for our brand new first year teachers. Now as a first year teacher, there are so many asks of you and it can feel very overwhelming and sometimes you just don't know where to start. And that's where Magic School can come in. Now, I wanna show you my five favorite tools for our brand new teachers who, with so many tasks on their plate, this could just really help streamline things so that you can really get to the art of teaching so much faster. Now, I've got them all started here at the top, but you can see Magic School's library has so many others to offer once you get a chance to explore. As a first year teacher, one of the things that you are told first is you always need to start with the standards. So I love starting with our standards unpacker tool. Now I've got it open here for you. I teach 10th grade. One of the most important standards that we have is how to analyze complex characters and how they develop over the course of a text. Now, this is the standard that is from the state of Colorado. I have selected my grade level and I've got my standard here. Once I've clicked generate, you can see I've already generated it for you just to save some time. I've got some expectations, some learning targets, and then some really great strategies of ways that I can assess the learning of my students having completed this standard. Once I have a better grasp of my standards, now I need to start using them to compile my unit plan, which as you can see in my magic school tools is also here start. Now, my unit plan um, is Sula by Toni Morrison, where we really focus on feminism and the intersectionality of racism. Now, because it's a novel, it's gonna take a lot longer, but you can see you could choose any number of school length days here um, to really just um, make this work for you. I've got some context here. My students just finished reading Born a Crime. We need to work on rhetorical strategies to really get them ready for the final exam. And then, of course, I added in some standards here from the state of Colorado. I've got a speaking and listening. I've got a couple writing strategy um, standards in here, along with that same uh, complex character development standard. Once I've hit submit uh, that generate button. I've got all kinds of lessons. And then the thing that I love the most about our unit plan here is the culminating activity suggestions. Now I'll tell you, my students not only are going to complete a Socratic seminar for this unit tomorrow, but we are also going to finish with a group presentation. So I really love these suggestions um, that the unit plan generator created for us. Once I've got my unit plan in mind, now I need to figure out day to day, what are my lesson plans going to look like? So the next one I've got here is my lesson plan generator. Now specifically, a lesson that I really wanna focus on here is the complex relationship that is impacted between the two best friends, Sula and Nell, in our novel, um, and how sexism in their community really affects their relationship. I've got some context here where I talk about how at the very end, I want students to be able to write an analysis paragraph um, after they have annotated the text. Once I've hit generate, you can see I've got an objective, which is great. I have that ready to write on my board. I've got my end assessment here. I've got some key points and then all the parts of my lesson are laid out here for me. I've got, I even got some suggested differentiation if I have students who need some more challenge or some students who need some additional support and extension activity. I've got my homework for students. And then of course that standard at the end, which is awesome. Once I've got my lesson plan, I need to know exactly what my students need to achieve, what the bar is, so that I know how to support them in the event that during the lesson they've got some questions. Um, so the next thing I'm going to look at is my exemplar tool. So I've got my exemplar here. I use that exact same assignment prompt that I took from the lesson plan generator to see how racism is impacting Sula and Nell's relationship. I want them to embed two quotes, and I want to make sure that we are analyzing how their relationship is impacted. Magic School does a really great job of giving me that exemplary response. It even quotes the page numbers, which is awesome. Now that I've got this exemplary response, I know the bar that I need my students to meet. And from this, I can figure out where might they stumble during this lesson so I can figure out how to support them. I will tell you as an English teacher, the hardest part of my job is coming up with the exemplary responses and writing those day after day. And this is a huge help. Now that I am ready to use my lesson and I want to I want to teach for the day, I need to make sure that in the moment I'm giving students clear directions. So here I've got that annotation expectations for my students. I'm going to click on it, generate and see the clear directions that Magic School comes up so that my students are not confused. My directions were convoluted and Magic School breaks it down into six clear steps for students. Hope these five tools are helpful first year teachers. Thanks so much for watching.